morning, Whitfield Elementary. I'm Mr. Durr, your morning anchor. Today is Wednesday, September 21st, 2022. Let's take a look at your yummy and delicious lunch choices today. Oh, I hope you're in the mood for some green stuff because we've got the Asian chicken salad with chicken strips with Asian dressing, chow mein noodles over romaine, carrots and celery. Entree two could be green apple, with a peanut butter power pack. It's your PB&J PB Uncrustable for Entree 3. And our veggie of the day, if you guessed some more salad, you're actually correct. It's the garden salad with ranch, and then we've got our assorted fresh fruit and choice of milk. Here's this week's reminders. Get that tech contract signed and brought back into school and fourth and fifth grade, if you're still interested in purchasing the protection plan, that is something else your families can look into. Now let's talk about today's featured days. Not only is it the world day of this, it's also the national day of this. It's mini golf day. Yes, who doesn't love trying to hit that ball through the spinning windmill or right into the clown? and pass their favorite obstacle only to have it jump the rock, roll down the path into the water for you to fish it out and try it seven more times and just not, not do well. Ever happened to you? Yes. And here's a great one for school, National School Backpack Awareness Day. Didn't he, I didn't even know that was a thing until I looked it up for the news today. And September 21st is National School Backpack Awareness Day. So this strives to make sure that you, the students, wear your backpacks safely. Improper use could lead to back pain, injury, which could impact your learning. And on this day, teachers, students, and parents come together to make sure families are aware of the risks that backpacks are not being worn properly. It's for the children. So here are some facts and tips about backpacks. In 1938, Jerry Outdoors invents the modern day backpack for camping and hiking. Then in 1968, nylon straps were used, which made the backpack more affordable. And Jansport, the world's largest backpack maker, went into business. Here are three tips for wearing a backpack safely and properly. Number one, use both of the straps on the backpack, not just one. Only using one could lead to bad posture and back pain. Number two, pull those straps and adjust the height of that backpack so it's one to two inches above your waistline. They are designed to be adjustable. You don't wanna have that extra weight dragging around. And number three, the new designs have these horizontal straps that go across your chest and across your weight, waist. That's to also help support your backpack. So as you're putting in your books from library and from the classroom, your folders of papers, and some of you, your Chromebooks, maybe even your lunch boxes in there, that can add some weight. So please make sure that you're using your backpack safely and properly to support all the things that you put inside of it. All right, my Whitfield Wonders, that wraps up the news today. So keep on remembering to be safe, be responsible, and be respectful. The choice is you, yours, it is you, and it is your choice. And be the most wonderful self that you can be here as a Whitfield Wonder. Here is Isaac with the Pledge of Allegiance. Goodbye, everybody. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.